Hi, this is Christy Marie Gott. I'm going to explain to you about using the featured image that is provided for you with WordPress Theme 2012. This is the featured image that I'm using on this particular home page. Most people would just upload one photo. I went ahead and made a uh, mosaic grid out of a collage in Picasa and usually it might be 300 by 300 pixels but I decided to make a long uh, image so that's why mine's this particular shape and after I show you where you upload that if you want to stick around and keep watching I'll show you how I made that in Picasa so we're going to go ahead and go to the dashboard and then to pages and all pages and we'll click on the home page and of course I've already gone to settings and under under settings which is over here I went to reading and made the choice putting a dot in the radio button for static site and then in the drop down box uh, I clicked on the arrow and chose home now over you'll see that there isn't any image right here even though there's one on the front page and I'll show you why look over on the right beneath attributes template tags and we'll scroll down and you'll see here it says featured image now I've already uploaded an image so the link I have says remove featured image but if you haven't uploaded one yet it would say add featured image and when you click on that then a browsing box will open and you can click and browse to your computer to upload an image or you if you've already uploaded the image you can click on media library in that same box and then go ahead and get the image from there now um, you'll see that of course as I mentioned it doesn't show in the text box so after you click update you might be a little puzzled but it does automatically show up in the upper right um, in the WordPress theme 2012 this is the featured image area now WordPress theme 2012 is designed for mobile first so if you're viewing this on a smartphone the elements of the site are rearranged uh, this particular site is designed so that it detects the type of device that's being used smartphone tablet and what size and so on and then uh, the meaning of a mobile friendly website theme is that it rearranges the elements so that they fit the screen so while it looks like this on a laptop it might look different on a smartphone or a or another device now for those of you who want to hang hang around I'll show you quickly how I make all those little I make things like headers buttons uh, collages and so on I'm in Picasa which is a free download and we'll go ahead and <clears throat> we'll make a uh, collage out of some elements here uh, we'll just go ahead and I'll click on a variety of things that I have and then I'll show you how that all works okay I'm clicking on these and then I click the green hold button and so I just choose a lot of things um, and then when I got um, everything that I think I want um, I can go and get other photos and things like that then I would up here in the menu where it says create click there and the third choice down is picture collage <clears throat> now it'll open up in a different shapes over here you can click this down arrow and choose various sizes or you can 
uh, click to add a custom size. So if you want something that says add custom ratio, I can click there, a little box opens up, and I can add the uh, height and width. And this particular one is a square, like a CD cover. And you see I can uh, drag these around. And over here is the formatting. This one is picture pile. It looks like a pile of scattered pictures. And I can click a down arrow and look, it'll rearrange them into a mosaic. I can drag this grid spacing over, and that's how you get these um, areas in between the pictures. You can also click here to use an image, and oh, I could click that, click Use Selected, and then that particular image would be the background image. Or I'll go back to Solid Color. I could even make it white like that. So you may not want to make as busy a collage as I did for the front. I was mostly just having fun today. But you may want to combine uh, two pictures or several pictures. And once you have them arranged, um, by the way, you can make them in a grid, a contact sheet, frame mosaic. That's kind of fun. You click Create Collage. So we're looking at draft for a while. Here it is. And of course, I didn't um, you know, take time to arrange those into a uh, real collage that I was going to use. Now over here, you can click on text. And this is where you can choose whole, all these different types of text. And um, for instance, here's Arial Black. And you can choose all these colors, say red. And you can also choose an outline color. There's black. And here you can choose the size. And so you just go ahead and start typing anywhere you want. And then you just drag it with this. And that's how you can add text. And you can, as you see, uh, there's many, many more. I don't have time to go through the whole list. So that's, and then you click Apply, and then save it to uh, your desktop or wherever you want to. Well, thanks for joining me today. And uh, another very important aspect that I almost forgot to mention regarding the featured image is that it also gives you a choice it's one of the images that will show up when you share your page to social media. Say, if you click on Facebook or Twitter, um, it uh, the social media will look at the various images on the page. And a lot of times, they'll even give you a little box with an arrow. So you can uh, page through and choose. This image is way too busy to use for a thumbnail. but. Uh, you can use that featured image for a thumbnail if it's uh, an image that um, lends itself to that. Otherwise, there might be another simpler image somewhere on the page that you can use instead. Thanks for joining me today. Happy computing and have a great day.